Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the UEFA Euro 2012 DLC for FIFA 12. Today we're going to be doing a little run with Belarus. We haven't done Belarus at all in any of the games that I own, any World Cup games or any Euro games. So I figured I'll give him a mini run on this DLC today and see how good they are before we try them on other games in the future. So you know the drill from the last video, what we like to do to make this as random as possible, I basically randomize the teams until we get our group. So we're going to be in group A uh, for this one, I'm going to start randomizing each team that are in the Euros. So a lot of teams will move about because even if... Um, you know, it might even come up with Belarus, so it might move my team around, so this is the only way I can do it, so yeah, um, I do apologise if it's not to um, your liking compared to the World Cup draws and stuff like that, but here we go. So Greece will be replaced with Bosnia, Russia will be replaced with Austria, Czech Republic will be replaced with Israel, Netherlands replaced with Sweden. Denmark replaced with Romania, Germany replaced with Switzerland, Portugal replaced with Azerbaijan, Spain replaced with Austria, okay, so they've moved into our group now, Italy replaced with Denmark, Ireland replaced with Kazakhstan, Croatia replaced with Georgia, Ukraine replaced with Slovakia, Netherlands replaced with Finland, France replaced with Moldova, and England replaced with the Netherlands, so the Netherlands moved, so our group pretty much stays the same apart from Spain moved in there as well, so we got quite a tough group, we are the smallest team in there. It does seem like the Belarus team is fake from the looks of things, or unlicensed I should say, just to let you know, it's on world class difficulty, not legendary because legendary is super difficult on Euro 2012. This run with Belarus will more than likely be a small run, considering the group that we got and everything like that, but I will give it a good go and see how far we can put push Belarus here. Um, of course, we got a decent chance. I don't think we'll be beating Spain because they were champions in 2012. But Bosnia and Israel could be winnable if we play well. Cut out there by Belarus. Moving the ball around here. There's a through ball. Here comes this guy. I don't know his name, but I just tried to shoot, but it didn't work out. That could have been the first chance, really. Konalenko out to this guy. I can't pronounce his name. Tried to shove him off the ball there. And here come Belarus and it hits the side netting. I tackled him there and it didn't actually register as a challenge. And that was probably the worst head I have ever seen by Bosnia there. Dzeko just headering it miles away. I don't know if it's actually Dzeko or not. It might have been an unlicensed version of Dzeko. And here come Bosnia. Just tackle before they can do anything. It's been one of these games where it's just been a lot of challenges in midfield and defence. Both of the sides are... Pretty well matched up. I'd say that I'm only only half a star behind them. It's half time in this first match against Bosnia and it is nil nil. We had a couple of shots towards the start and then we started to phase out a little bit. We should have shot earlier in that chance. Probably could have got a goal and the header there was a little bit weak. Um, yeah, just a bit unfortunate that we can't go through anymore. Up to you, twist and turn, knocked away but we still have it. Go on. Oh, the finesse shot. You can't just turn and finesse. Crossed in. Header. And it's gone. Miles over the bar. Bosnia and um, Belarus. Probably the worst match of this tournament. But Belarus will be happy with a point. I'm not sure about Bo Bosnia. But yeah, that was an awful match. Really terrible in terms of like the shots we had and everything. Should have scored at least one. Here we go, second match against Spain. If we win this one, then that'll be an absolute miracle. It'll have to be a super defensive performance and just maybe nab a goal or something like that. We are capable of going through, but against Spain, don't think it's going to be happening. Through ball. Oh, I tried to go through and it's a corner. So we'll take that. Could get a nice header in perhaps. Crossed in. Header or just over the bar. Oh, that's a great turn. Done me there. It's a great challenge, but he got the ball back. And that's a fantastic save. Really amazing save. That would have been a goal. Turn. Still got the ball. Into the middle. 
Go on. Oh, just a wide. Oh, please get your shooting boots on, Bolarus. Uh, they're just literally pushing through. And oh, they sweated me pretty much. Goalkeeper's coming out. And David Silva scores to make it 1-0. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know why the goalkeeper didn't pick it up. But okay. Well, that's what happens against the big nation. You will end up conceding like that if you're not good in defence. Twisting and turning and giving the ball away there. No power on the pass whatsoever. It's frustrating when you have an idea in your head of what kind of play you want. And the team just cannot seem to do it. Spain are just cutting me up here. That's a great pass and fantastic challenge at the end. But stopped by Spain. Oh, they got it there. That's offside, right? Oh, Negredo has scored. 2-0. That's probably game over, to be honest. Trying to weave my way into the box here. Go on, go for the shot. Oh, again, blocked. It's just one of those games, isn't it? You're not going to score against Spain with cheesy tactics like this, really. And it's 2-0 at half-time to Spain. Not looking good for Belarus. Only one point um, from these two games. Quite a harsh um, set of circumstances, really, to go against Spain in the second match. Spain still got it. They lay it off. And I miss the challenge off the bar and in. Yeah, there we go. It was just perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Spain in 2012 were just unreal, weren't they? And in 2010 as well. But yeah, missed the challenge completely. And he did me to make it 3-0. This is embarrassing. Well, not embarrassing, actually. It's not. It's Spain. Through ball. Missed the challenge. Bumped into him. Probably going to be a free kick. No, out to the wing. Come on, please stop him. Wow, the goalkeeper let him hit the post there. Didn't even grab it or anything. <laughs> Can't even do a bloody through ball without it getting cut out. This is insane how hard this is against Spain. They just sidestep your challenges and that could have been a goal. These sidesteps that they're doing are really crushing me on the defensive end. Like They'll sidestep me when I make a challenge and you'll be left in the dust. Through ball. Into the middle. The pass was weak. Belarus aren't doing anything in this one. Sadly, they were absolutely useless in front of goal and in defence as well. Spain put on a show. And that's all I can say. I was terrible in that match. I don't think this gameplay is going to have any goals. I thought Belarus could, be, could have been a, um, a decent candidate for a little shock. Obviously not. So if we take a look at Group A, there is no chance of us going through even if we win against Israel. So it's basically just a dead match, sadly, because uh, Spain and Bosnia drew, which feels like they did that on purpose just to screw me over. Here we go then, final match between two nations that cannot get out the group at all. So they'll be both going home, but we're just playing for pride really, both of these nations um, without a win in this tournament. But we have a point and we haven't even scored any goals. So can Belarus actually score in this match? I hope so. I don't want a completely goalless run. Israel pushing. Yeah, well, that was horrible. Horrible defence. Israel scored to make it 1-0. Oh, Belarus. That was awful. Yeah, these slide tackles coming in out of nowhere. Well, not nowhere, but I try and twist away from him and um, the game goes, no, uh, it's not my run today. I actually might be a goalless run, a, a pointless goalless run. Imagine that, guys. Imagine that. Having a run where we don't score and we don't even go through. That would be slightly embarrassing, I think. Out to the wing. And again! He just comes over and just goes, yep, I got it. Thank you very much. But when I try and do it, they turn me and just run for on goal. Literally, they're running for on goal. What is Belarus all about? Oh, my days. He turned me in midfield and then just ran straight through like, like my defense weren't even there. And they weren't. They were right next to him and they weren't even doing anything. Most... Awful nation ever on this game. I'm calling it. I've had runs with like Kazakhstan and I've actually scored a goal. Oh my god. These these micro turns are just absolutely owning me. 
I don't get it. That's a cross and that's a goal. Oh my god, he fluffed that one up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm tempted just to forfeit the match because it's been really dreadful. I've had to put Belarus in ultra attacking just to try and get forward um, and they're not doing it still. They're not doing it. They're just not a decent team to play with at the moment. Watch Israel catch me up here. Yeah, they did. And that was a foul as well. He dragged me down in the box. And oh my. Oh. Trying to twist and turn. Into the box. And he still doesn't score. That was our perfect sh chance of scoring. And we couldn't take it. Into the middle. Is there a chance at the end? We scored! Yes! But guess what? It's an own goal! So it doesn't actually count as a Belarus goal in theory because he tackled me at the end and it deflected in. It has to be, even though I scored at the end, it has to be the worst run I've ever had. Belarus have scored, none of their players have scored in the whole entire run. That is like an all-time low for my gameplays i guess that was one of the worst runs of all time i really apologize but i'm still gonna put it out i'm still gonna put it on youtube because i want you guys to feel my pain so spain won in the end against the netherlands on penalties it doesn't say the penalty score but it was 2-2 in the final then it went to penalties um any surprises in there not really apart from bosnia reaching the semi-finals and then getting eliminated by the netherlands and we can redo belarus in the future but i really just don't want to touch him on 2012 right now <laughs> it's just um it was just frustrating but anyway if you did if you did somehow enjoy this video Video, then give it a like and subscribe keep it local as always and i'll see you again for the next video